this next, like, it's this next thing. Like, it's, it's next level. Like, I don't, I'm not trying to be redundant here, but like 2.0, like it's next level stuff. Like it's awesome. It's gorgeous. It's beautiful. So um, the, the walkthrough for 2.0 is going to be very similar to, to um, the, the one that we just did for 1.0. But the, the big difference here is going to be is going to be PGA. So we'll go back to our 1.0 page. Uh, I'll show you guys how to easy, easily navigate to 2.0. It's just here on the top right corner. Uh, you just click right. You click on it, you need to right click. I don't know if I said right. So while that loads up, um, the, but the big thing here is golf. Like, I don't know how to play DFS golf. Like, I, I, I suck at it. Like, I'm, I, like, I joke around on Twitter, like, I'm just button mashing. Like, I'm, I'm totally button mashing, but at least with, like, what they have, like, it, there's, there's um, more things that I can take a look at to at least empower me as a player. Like, they give you a projection. Uh, they give you the projected ownership, their their likelihood of finishing in the top 20, the top 10, the top five, a win percentage, making the cut. It's like, okay, like, I don't know how to play golf, but, like, I can I can do the, the math backwards. And it's like, so obviously in golf, like, you want a low score. So you want a guy that's going to, you know, get birdies and shit. But the other thing that you want is a guy that could win the tournament. Like, all right, here's my win percentage. We know that you're not going to win at golf if you don't get all six guys through the cut. Here's your cut percentage. You know, if you if you can't get a guy that's going to win, you want to get a guy that's in the top five, the top ten. Like, just in a matter of 30 seconds, I became that much more educated of a golf player. Like, I still suck. Like, someone needs to give me golf lessons. So if you're good at golf, yo, what's up, CS Maniac? Hook your boy up. But the fact, again, more capabilities that we need. So that's all I wanted to touch on the golf aspect. Again, I know that uh, the improvements that they made in 2.0 for for – Baseball, they're doing the same thing for, for football. I use these guys for NHL. Like, it's it's just a really powerful, powerful, powerful tool. So, um, the first thing that I want to show you guys is um, we're actually going to we're, we'll work our way back to this. So, the first thing that I want to show you is up here. Um, this is your menu of options that we saw similar on the right hand side of 1.0. So, if you click on this little pencil, um, this is where you're going to be able to see all of your different slates. So here's our DraftKings, and then this is if we switch to our showdown, this is where we get our showdown options. Um, and then we can get our FanDuel options here, and they just have the FanDuel Classic. So there's some navigating if you're playing FanDuel, both formats, and DraftKings, both formats, but I mean, it's two clicks of a button. It's not that big of a deal. But the thing that is really cool, so like, let's say like you just came on to, to SaberSim, and you are... Um, wanting to back test and see how their information is like you can go back and look at any of the data from the start of the year so let, let's say we wanted to go to April 11th click update settings and now it's going to pull all of the projections from April 11th so at that point you can start doing test builds so every everything I've ever done to get better at DFS is just back testing back testing back testing back testing trial and error like I'm not that smart I'll study a player that I like or a player that's winning. I'll try to find similarities. Um, you know, they say success leaves clues. I just try to find the clues and play DFS detective and put together something that works. Um, you know, I've shared my strategies and my process with you guys for MLB. It's, it's not rocket science, and I guarantee there's people with a way better process than me, but our process is good enough to win. You can't win at DFS without a process. So a lot of this stuff that I'm putting on the YouTube channel is just to help a lot of you guys just stop the bleeding. And whenever you're learning something new, like you need bite-sized pieces. Like you don't want to drink out of a fire hose. And that's that's all we're trying to do here. So this archive piece is, is really, really cool. Um, and it, it's just going to be incredibly helpful for you guys that are making the leap. Like if, if like if it's a lot to, to come out of pocket, 40 bucks to, to um, sign up for this, like, dude, I get it. But make it count. Like don't be a lazy ass and – you know, complain about spending 40 bucks and then show up once a day and not put any work to get better. Like DFS is very simple. It's a matter of, are you willing to put in the work? Do you have enough discipline to manage your bankroll? And number three is, do you have enough patience to develop your process? And if you can answer yes to all three of those questions, like you're gonna be a winning player. If you're not a winning player, you're answering no to one or three or more than one or at least one of those questions. It's really that simple. I, I say all the time, like I'm not, that smart like I'm just like I'm inherently lazy so I just have to find like the most efficient ways to get things done and that that's what I'm trying to share with you so hopping off of my um, 
soapbox. I gotta get I gotta get preachy at least once once an episode. So pretty similar to um, what we just saw with 1.0. Um, got everything laid out. Got our ceiling projection. And again, like ownership, like you know uh, that's a big deal. You know, I, I know that a lot of you guys are have been misusing it. I've been trying to encourage you guys better ways to use it. But it, it, it is good, especially if you're only building a couple teams to see. Hey, you know what? Like yesterday with the angels, we knew the angels were going to be chalk. So if you went anywhere other than the angels, you had a chance to succeed. And if you were on the angels and you didn't make very much money, it's like, all right, well, that's what happens when you're on the chalk. So if we want to get away from the chalk, this is, this is all we need to do. It's like, okay, this is, this is what I need to see here. All right. It looks like we're looking at some, some Indians that are chalk and you can sort it the other way. It's like, dude, look at all these 1% ownerships. That's how you guys get leverage. You go go where no one else is going. Like you guys will send me your 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 lineup builds and you'll send me your exposure. And I'm like, dude, like where's your leverage coming from? You're like, I don't know. And it's like, well, that's why you're not winning. Like you don't you're not getting any leverage. Like take a stand, be fearless, conservative in your bankroll, aggressive in your approach. I say it all the time because it works. And like you guys will ask me, like, uh, uh, ask me the same question and you'll get the same answer. Like I am boring. Like. The more boring you can be, the more professional you can be, the less like an amateur you can be. It's funny, like every, most of the time when we're doing these coachings, I'll just ask you guys like, hey, do you want to get better as a DFS player? They're like, yeah, that's, that's why I called you. And I'm like, okay, do you have a friend that's like a knucklehead idiot that's always doing dumb stuff at DFS? Like, yeah, I, like you guys, my buddy, but like, yeah, he's a total bonehead. It's like, just do the opposite of that guy. And you're going to make a crap ton of money at this. Like, that's it. Like, all I try to do is is model my habits after the best players in the world and strip myself of doing the degenerate stuff. Like it's fun to joke about being a degenerate, but to, to actually be one, it's not so fun. It's not cute. You know, spewing off your money, working, working hard at this is, is not fun. So um, we'll, we'll get into a little bit more here of 2.0. If you want to download, that's your download button. If you want to upload, um, there's your upload button. And we'll open up the CSV so you guys can see exactly what, what it looks like. And it's just, it's just a killer, killer product, man. Like you, um, you get into the projections and everything is just like totally laid out, nice and clean. Here's our players, their teams, their opponents, their positions. Here's their projections. There's their salary. There's their ownership. There's their DK points. And then this is where you start getting into the percentiles. And we're going to cover that a little bit more, but they, but they do the percentiles for DraftKings. And they do it for FanDuel, and everything is here. Um, I forgot they even do Yahoo and Fantasy Draft. So, like again, these guys are just going the extra mile. If you want to sort by, hey, you know who has the greatest opportunity? I want to, you know, leverage my 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 builds around who can hit home runs. You know, learn how they're like people like all the time. Like they'll see me open up a, an Excel sheet, and they're like, dude, like I don't know Excel. Like my Excel skills are like barely past remedial, like de definitely basic. Like if you learn how to uh, put in a formula, uh, sort and filter, and then if you want to sort, it's real simple. I have a Mac, so it's shift, command key down. That's how you highlight a whole column and then left. That's how you highlight everything there and then you just sort from smallest to largest. That's all I did to look at this home run equity. So we'll go back to our home runs and this is, without knowing anything else, this is where um, like, let's say we're going to build a five-man stack. This is where our one-offs are going to come. You know, home runs are, are king in DFS. So this is just a peek behind the curtain. This is what I'm telling you guys. Like, this stuff, like, it is so slick, the job that these guys did with this product. It's just amazing. I'm, I'm just super fired up um, that something like this exists to take, you know, like, I, I don't know most of these players. Like, I can name about five players a team. So um, this empowers me as a player. Like, if, you know, there's a guy, like, let's go back to the home runs. Let's search our home run equity for the day. Like, I don't know who this dude is. Like, I live in Texas now, and this guy plays for uh, the Astros. And I'm like, oh, this must be, like, some dude that just got called up, and we're going to get him at a discount. Like, no, he's 4800 salary. Like, that's how out of tune I am. Like, this guy, like, has one of the higher salaries of the day, and I don't even know who he is. That's what I'm saying. Like, you guys know, like, one of my DFS heroes is Beep, I'm a Jeep, and – he didn't know differences of a lot of the nuances in the sports world that most of us common average sports fans know. And that's what's so great about DFS. It's about playing the game, not what you know from a sports perspective. Knowing stuff helps, but a lot of the times like that can get in the way. Like NFL is my worst sport and it's the sport that I know the best. 
I don't know anything about baseball and have, you know, almost a four, five, six, seven times better ROI playing baseball than I did ever at football. Um, but yeah, so um, let me get back to our, I want to stay on task here. Okay, so we're going to wrap here. That's the high level view of 2.0. We're going to wrap here and then we're going to get into some of the nuances. So uh, I hope you guys are excited. I hope you guys are fired up because um, the more I talk about this thing and the more I dive into it, the more excited I get. And, and, and that's, that's, that's the, those are the tools that you, that you want to surround yourself and in, in have in your life. I feel like that was like something you'd see at the end of Jerry Springer.